थ्री टू वन वी आर लाइव ओवर टू मेघना what you leave behind is not what is engraved in stone monuments but what is woven into the lives of others ernest hemingway good evening i am meghna seventh grader from harvest international school bangalore and today in this webinar i will introduce the topic of social entrepreneurship look at some inspiring social entrepreneurs creating new strategies for solving society's problems how you can do it yourself and we'll close with this year's atl marathon themes and the scope of social enterprises in these areas shall we begin first off a little bit about myself my entrepreneurial journey began with tinkerpreneur 2021 with my product swarasati your very own carnatic music buddy it was a judged top 100 and i got an opportunity to participate in utter catalyst at isb this was a momentous experience i continued my association with tinkerpreneur in 2022 where i developed e learning resources and conducted hand hold me sessions last year in the atl marathon my innovation swell salt water to electricity bulbs for remote coastal regions one top Ten teams in the state. I am a Carnatic music enthusiast and unequivocally love books, reading and writing. Now about Tinker Champs. Some of us who have immensely benefited from the Tinker Printer Boot Camp. wanted to spread it to the larger student community within and across different schools we became part of the tinker champ program we started in august of 2021 a total of 30 students between classes 6 to 10 from 12 schools across eight states of the country set on this journey of the tinker champ program it was our opportunity to pay it forward it is by the students of the students and for the students so how does this translate to give you a glimpse here is what we got done in 2022 peer mentoring we are birds of the same feather we need to flock together we conduct camps for students and teachers on various topics created e learning resources e books podcasts blogs websites how to instruction guides and conducted the hand hold me sessions for tinkerpreneur 2022 we support our schools atls we also conducted the tinker champ maker fairs they are online carnivals to spread a culture of creativity innovation and entrepreneurship far and wide among school students for the upcoming atl marathon 2022 to 2023 we have planned a series of webinars and demos to help thinkers on their journey this is the second such webinar now that's all the pretext let's jump into today's topic i'd like to start with the story many of you might have heard it already so let's look at it 
in the context of social entrepreneurship. Vishnu decides to go down to earth as a dwarf, Bhamana, and he goes to Mahabali during one of the king's annual giving things away drive because he was a benevolent king. So when Bhamana goes up to Mahabali, the king's like, totally, just take anything. But Bhamana is all, eh? I don't see anything that interests me. And Mahabali is like, seriously? Just take anything you want, I promise. So then Bhamana asks for three pieces of land, what he can cover with his legs. And remember, he's a dwarf. So Mahabali is amused and smirks under his moustache and tells Vamana to go ahead. Big mistake. Immediately, Vamana begins to grow and grow and grow till he's an outsized giant. And with one step, he covers all of the earth and the next covers all of the sky. And then, he looks down at Mahabali and booms. And where should I put my next step, O king? And Mahabali looks around at the land and the people that he loves so much and smiles at them bravely because he promised. So he says, put your next step on my head. So the do-gooder attitude doesn't always end up well. How do we help people and still get mutually benefited? Social entrepreneurship, it is the best of both worlds, social and financial returns. Let's look at an example. One fine day, you're coming back from school. On the way, you see a poor family wearing torn clothes, living in a thatched hut with nothing to eat. What do you do? Option one, you go home and get some food and clothes for them. Option two, you ask some people for money and then give it to the poor family. Option three, microfinance. You set up a bank where you give small long-term loans at lower rates of interest. If you picked option one, you're doing charity, the one-time deal. If you picked option two, it is an NGO. It will sustain the family for more time than charity, but still isn't useful in the long term. Last but not the least, option three is social entrepreneurship. This will sustain the family you saw as well as many other poor people in the long term. And you're benefiting from it. You can have your cake and eat it too. As the famous proverb goes, if you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. If you teach a man to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. Terminology. Let's just look at all of this terminology before they throw you for a loop. An NGO is just that, a non-governmental organization like Amnesty International, the International Federation of Red Cross, Save the Children, and WWF, not the wrestling one, but World Wildlife Fund. These are all NGOs. A non-profit is a company that doesn't generate profits on purpose. 
Well, most NGOs are non-profits. Very few non-profits are NGOs. The biggest difference with an NGO is the scope of work. Non-profit organizations or NPOs are more local, but NGOs are more widespread, global. For example, Doctors Without Borders, Greenpeace, APJ Abdul Kanam Center, Read India, Nimagata Foundation, etc. A charity, on the other hand, gives money or other resources to those in need. Feeding America, Salvation Army, GV Blood Bank. But a social enterprise helps people and makes money at the same time. Social enterprises address social issues directly by creating, developing, and funding solutions. Examples we'll see in the next slide. Meanwhile, I have some homework for you. Have you ever heard about CSR? Corporate Social Responsibility. Does it fall under any of these categories? If so, which one of them? Here are a few examples of successful social entrepreneurs. Malala Yousafzai. Malala Yousafzai became an international symbol for the fight of girls' education after she was shocked in 2012 for opposing Taliban restrictions on female education in her home country of Pakistan. She is now a successful businesswoman running Malala Fund along with Shisa Shahid. Her fund has raised over $100 million. Mohammed Yunus. He is the kid in the example that we saw before. He started a microcredit institution, Grameen Bank. His objective was to help poor people escape from poverty by providing loans on terms suitable to them. Replicas of the Grameen Bank model operate in more than 100 countries worldwide. Scott Harrison, from nightclub promoter to CEO. Scott Harrison saw the ill effects of dirty water firsthand during his volunteer job in Liberia. 15 years later, Charity Water has raised over $689 million and funded over 111,000 water projects in 29 countries and provided 15.5 million people with clean, safe drinking water. Sanjeev Bunker Roy. The rich Bunker, out of curiosity, went to Bihar during the famine, but the suffering he witnessed affected him deeply. He started the Barefoot College that trains people from the most remote and inaccessible villages to become barefoot water and solar engineers, architects, teachers, communicators, pathologists, midwives, IT workers, accountants, and marketing managers. Imagine. Here are a few more examples of successful social entrepreneurs near home. Urvashi Sehni, founder and CEO of SHEF, which is Study Hall Education Foundation, an organization dedicated to offering education to the most disadvantaged girls in India. Urvashi Sehni has worked with over 900 schools and changed the lives of 150,000 girls 
directly and 270,000 girls indirectly with her program. She was rightly felicitated with the Social Entrepreneur of the Year Award in 2017. Harish Hande, CEO and founder of Selco, a company rendering sustainable energy sources to rural regions of the country. This project was the first rural solar financing program in India. Till date, Selco has contributed over 120,000 installations and has more than 25 operating retail and service centers in Karnataka alone. Anshu Gupta, born in a middle class family in Uttar Pradesh, took media as a profession and while as an intern, he witnessed the need of proper clothing for the poor in rural India. Anshu then founded Luge, a social enterprise that collects used clothing from the urban crowd, sort them, fix, and later distribute among the poor and needy. Jeru Bilmodia initiated the child line that aims to provide help in the form of healthcare and police assistance, especially to the street children. Right from her childhood, she had a vision of giving back to the underprivileged in the society. She also believed in self-empowerment of women in India. Inspired much? Want to become a social entrepreneur? So how different is becoming a social entrepreneur to any other entrepreneur? Those of us who are fortunate to participate in the Tinkerpreneur Bootcamp and have gone through the nine week course know a thing or two. So let's look at some of the steps and how they would be different. The journey to social entrepreneurship is broken to six steps. The first step is research and finding your why. Then articulate your vision, build your community, develop your business model. Then before you launch, decide on the details, roles, structuring and funding, and finally launch your product, see feedback and keep refining. Let's look at each in detail. Step one, understand you, your story and your calling. During a train ride from Calcutta to Darjeeling, Agnes Gangsha Bujakshu received what she called the call within a call and became Mother Teresa, founded the Missionaries of Charity. For Malala, it was a bullet. Everyone has their own unique calling. You can wait for the apple to fall or go searching for it. Start by looking inward and ask these questions. What bothers you? What is important to you? What lights you up more than anything else? What values guide you? Find your passion and work towards it. This precedes the product or service ideation process. Now you research the market. You can use existing analysis or conduct your own survey. Step two, articulate your vision. So now it's time to think about vision. No, not the sentient cyborg from Marvel Avengers. This vision guides you. 
through your social entrepreneurial journey. It has two elements, core ideology combined with your envisioned future. Your core ideology is the drive behind your enterprise. Here are a few examples. Barefoot College, where the core ideology is to make illiterate rural people self-sufficient. Grameen Bank, to empower every poor person's right to realize their potential and to break out of the vicious cycle of poverty. Malala Fund, to champion every girl's necessity to free, safe and quality education. Coming to the envisioned future, time to look into the crystal ball. First things first, find out your BIHA or big, hairy, audacious goal. This is usually something like we'll put Google out of business. And remember to have a vivid description. Like in the Google example, Larry Page and Sergey Brin reading the job section of the newspaper. Let's take one more example of a BHAG related to girls' education. A book in the hand of every girl in every country? How does that sound? Do other entrepreneurs not need vision? Yes, we need vision for any venture. Here, the core values and core purpose make the difference between a social venture and any other venture. Step three, build your community. For the strength of the pack is the wolf and the strength of the wolf is the pack. Jungle Book. To get a social venture off the ground successfully, you can't do it alone. It is wildly unrealistic for any one person to feel like they have to do all the things that it requires to conceptualize, start, run, and launch an enterprise of any scale. This means you'll need help. You will need support, which comes down to your community. You should continuously build your personal community. For example, Zebras Unite, a founder-led, cooperatively owned movement, or 1% for the planet, that represents a global network of businesses, individuals, and environmental partners tackling our planet's most pressing environmental issues. Or my personal favorite, the Tinker Champs. It is a unique program that identifies student tinkerers with positive attitude, candle spirit, leadership potential, energy, and motivation, and empowers them to drive a variety of student led initiatives at their ATL to spread a culture of creativity, innovation, and entrepreneurship among the larger student community. Step four, develop your business model. When do we actually start doing stuff? You might as well ask. This is the part where we finally put our ideas to paper. How does our business function and make money. To find that out, we need to fill up this business model canvas. The business model canvas or BMC is the strategic management tool to quickly and easily define and communicate a business idea or concept. 
It's a one page document that works through the fundamental elements of a business or a product, structuring an idea in a coherent way. It allows us to get an understanding of our business and to go through the process of making connections between what your idea is and how to make it a business. This template is familiar to all the Tinkerpreneurs, so I'm not going to dwell on that. Step five, details, details, and details. Structure, do you start a nonprofit, for-profit, or a benefit corporation? The short answer is, it depends. Frustrated yet? However, we can gain crucial information and perspective on these uh, questions from people who are becoming a part of our community. That means go back to step three, funding. Are you 50 rich and can afford to self-finance like Sanjeet Bunker Roy or Mohammed Yunus? Or should you take out a loan? You can try crowdfunding too. I recommend Mighty Cause, which is best for social causes and seed invest technology, which is best for startups. Friends and family are there too. Do they have an option? You can always participate in a competition and win your investment. Like our Tinker Champ, Yuvati. She got a grant from Adil Catalyst at ISP after top 100 in Tinkerpreneur. You can try Shark Tank India, Horses Table, etc. etc. You can also resort to more creative techniques like Scott Harrison, founder of Charity Water. He used his experience as a nightclub promoter to organize a party where each guest had to pay $20. Then he sent photo and GPS proof to every donor, showing them the difference they made. Over the next nine years, Scott came up with even more creative ways to fundraise and mobilized more than 1 million supporters worldwide to raise $210 million. The aim is to secure stable, suitable, and sufficient funding. How you do that is up to you. Finally, launch your social enterprise. Time to flip that close sign. The road to social entrepreneurship is a winding one. You should expect to face challenges and take those moments as opportunities to adapt, learn, and change for the better. Try out your enterprise's business model in the open market. Learn from your mistakes, get feedback, and keep adapting. Remember, this is not a linear process. So after you get your feedback, go through all the steps again and keep refining it. This again is similar to launch any other enterprise. We saw how to become a social entrepreneur. Now, is it for everyone? Yes, anyone can be a social entrepreneur, but there's always a but. Unlike other types of entrepreneurs, social entrepreneurs have to focus on raising money, creating solutions for environmental and social welfare, and selling your solution. 
Imagine convincing people on giving up their luxury convertibles and ride a bicycle to the office. Or making 50% of the Indian population who are busy making ends meet to care about carbon emissions. It's not going to be easy. So social entrepreneurs need to be made of tungsten. They need to have perseverance, risk-taking ability, courage. They need to think out of the box and definitely be socially motivated. Maybe leave tall buildings in a single bound when at it. <laughs> social entrepreneurs need a different mindset. One needs to be empathetic to things around them. Social issues, economic issues, environmental issues. That was about social entrepreneurship. Now, let's put it to use. Utter Innovation Missions Flagship Innovation Challenge ATL Marathon is due in a month. There are seven plus one areas where we can come up with innovative solutions. Is social entrepreneurship solution? With less than a month for submission, we can use all the help we get. Here are some examples in each of the areas to find some inspiration. Education, ensure effective and efficient education for all. We already saw Barefoot College educate rural communities on items like solar panels and water pumps. Language shouldn't be a constraint. Leap for Word takes English to rural areas to make education effective. Adhyayan audits the educational systems. There are many, many options that can be explored. Health. Make India healthy, for health is wealth. <coughs> Neurosynaptic takes health to remote villages through technology. Telemedicine, valid nutrition treats malnutrition through food bars, like cloudy with a chance of meatballs too, minus the evil. Agriculture, the aim is to do more with less. And don't forget, 2023 is the year of the millet. Tropin uses technology to improve productivity. EcoZen is a solar powered cold storage system. EM3 rents machinery to poor farmers. And Millet's Cafe is like MAC tea but with Draghi. Environmental and climate sustainability. Toast Ale. Make sure you don't secretly throw away the inedible karela you got for lunch. And Gateworks is a solar-powered irrigation system with 50% off. This is one area which fits perfectly into the social entrepreneurship definition. Moving on. Development. Carpooling, aka take the bus, with apps like Uber, Lyft, Ola, etc. etc. This is the posh version of a shared auto. Sistema Bio takes your wet waste and turns it into fuel and manure. Digital economy. We finally have a reason to be on our phones all the time. Carbon Watch gives us our carbon footprint report card. 
Ekuriko, Etero, and Kabadi Wala transform your old flip phone to Olympic medals. And e Parisara is a certified made in India way. It's squeezed gold, or rather palladium, out of a circuit board. Tourism. Yes, social entrepreneurship during vacations too. Impulse travel makes sure that locals benefit from and support economic growth from tourism. Wheel the world sees to it that disabled people can vacation like everyone else. And the last one is my favorite. Unleash your creativity and think outside the themes box. Poverty reduction, child's rights restoration, community development, women empowerment, all 17 UN SDGs are at play. Find your own problem and solve it. Our social entrepreneurship project and its progress. Like they say, practice what you preach. We are currently working on an entrepreneurship toolkit, also called Entrepreneurship in a Box. 57 million of India's school going children do not have access to the internet. We aim to reach them. For us Tinker Jams, this is an opportunity to pay it forward. We have benefited and seen the opportunities provided by the entrepreneurial skilling at boot camps. We personally found our calling during the Tinkerpreneur Bootcamp. And our vision is to make entrepreneurship accessible for all. Our BHAG, that is Big Hairy Audacious Goal, make India number one in the Global Entrepreneurship Index rankings. And me in a few months down the line, delivering a TED talk about a social venture. Our community is none other than the Tinker Champs. Now, about our business model. Whoops, 404 error. This step is under construction. At a high level, we are developing the content for the toolkit and plan to deliver hard copies. We'll be selling the toolkit to those who can afford it. And also look for social, sorry, corporate sponsorship to print and deliver the toolkit to rural children. But worry not, we're working on it and plan to launch our venture soon. We seek your support, assistance and donation to reach the goal of 1 million rural children. Write to us at nenumekhna at gmail.com to express your interest. We'll get in touch with you once we're ready to commercialize it. I'll take questions now. If you have any, you can type them in the chat box. I'll answer them to the best of my abilities Otherwise, we'll definitely get back to you. Let's see who has the first question. Does anyone have any questions? Okay, so I'm going to let you guys think about if you have any questions about anything on my webinar or social entrepreneurship. I'll take questions at the end of the session. Oh, 
Well, that's all I have for you today. Where there's grumpiness, may we bring giggles. Where there's jelly, may we bring ice cream. And where there are chairs, may we bring whoopee cushions. I wish you the best of luck for your social venture. I can already see it changing the world. You can reach me at menumekana at gmail.com and visit my website at dmekana.com. Thank you. Okay. Um, if you don't have any questions, I am still open to feedback about my session. I'll just stop sharing. Um, uh, today we seem to have uh, Tanpat Raj Thariwal sir with us. Uh, sir, could you say a few words? Meghna, you need to unmute, sir. Okay, uh, I'm not able to see that option. Felina, sir, could you unmute? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing that. Sir. Okay, uh, Bindu Nayak seems to have raised their hand. Uh, Bindu? Yeah, if you have any question or feedback, go ahead. Um, I see that Parthiv D has a question. Uh, there is no recording of the session, but you can catch the YouTube video. I'll just send the link in the chat. Hmm. Roshan Kumar is asking, how do we submit our project? Uh, Roshan, you can go on to the ATL Marathon website and check that out. I'll just see if I have the link. Okay, I don't seem to have the link, I'll send it later. Okay, uh, Sahil Kumar is asking if there is uh, any course to register as a social entrepreneur. Uh, there is no course per se, but uh, you can register your website or file a patent if you want to put it on paper. Uh, 
Um, Arifa Sheikh is asking if they can be a part of my projects. Um, I didn't quite understand that question. Did you mean like the Tinko Champ projects? Mm. We're not uh, taking any people in for the entrepreneurship in a box, but you can still join us. We can welcome people anyway. Um. When did I first get the idea of social entrepreneurship and making an impact? So actually, that's a funny story. Um, I first got my social entrepreneurship calling in the ATL marathon of last year. So uh, my product, salt water to electricity, brings electricity to remote coastal areas. And that's when I realized that we can use our entrepreneurship skills to make an impact in society. So we can develop products and services and set up businesses to make a social change. So after that, uh, me and a few of my Tinker Cham friends got together and decided to uh, spread entrepreneurship to rural areas. And this is what led to the entrepreneurship toolkit. Um, Kiran sir, would thank you. Like you. Thank you. Beautifully answered, Meghna. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, Meghna. Would you like to speak a few words, sir? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> yeah. So. Uh... Again, one more awesome uh, webinar today. Uh, the earlier one on biomimicry uh, a few weeks ago was uh, also awesome. And your webinar on social entrepreneurship is uh, really wonderful. Uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, new things I also learned in the process. And uh, it's really amazing how this Inkachamp program has evolved since the last uh, one and a half to two years. Uh, I was uh, uh, just mentoring a few students during the Think Up Renew Bootcamp in 2021, and out of which a few, uh, about 30 odd students continued the journey with me. And uh, today uh, we have formed this Think Up Camp group where the best and the brightest of the children have come together. They are taking a lot of initiatives of their own. Uh, they started off by creating e-learning resources. Initially, they created a web portal for their own author tinkering labs in their own schools. Uh, and they conducted their own maker fair uh, last year and before last year, which had panel discussions, webinars on entrepreneurship, creativity, innovation, and things like that. And now uh, I see it evolving further with specialized uh, webinars like the one on biomimicry that uh, Megana conducted a few weeks ago that is also on YouTube. If somebody uh, has missed it, you can definitely go and take a look at it. It's on the same channel, the Tinker Champ Maker Fair channel on YouTube. And today's session is really awesome because in Tinkerpreneur, many of the students learned for the first time what entrepreneurship is. Many of them didn't know the term entrepreneurship. And now, what Meghna and some of the other Tinka Champs are doing is to make students understand what is the difference between their regular entrepreneurship and a social entrepreneurship. One is more on a for-profit and another is more for impact, right? So that's the, uh, the key difference. They can be making profit in both the cases, but here impact maximization is what they're looking at. And in the process, they are getting exposed to a broader uh, opportunities. Um, I mean, if somebody is keen on making a social impact, they can definitely take the social entrepreneurship rather than take the regular entrepreneurial route. 
So it opens up more opportunities for uh, the students. And good thing is students are driving this change. So as a mentor, I just got them together, but I'm very, really, really happy to see the students are taking this initiative. They are going and doing this research and they are finding out new possibilities, new opportunities for them. And they're discovering all this and not only they're discovering for themselves, but also sharing with many others. And this entrepreneurship in a box project that Megana just talked about is one such project that they have really taken up and it, I'm seeing how it is really evolving. It's really awesome to see how they have come up with um, how, how they're making entrepreneurship accessible to rural children who are um, maybe many of them may not have access to the uh, the laptops or the computers and then the small gadgets that many of the urban students have. Uh, those students may, some of them may be lacking it. Also, the internet connectivity is a challenge in some of those areas. Um, so how do we make entrepreneurship, the, at least the entrepreneurial skills and the, uh, and, and the entrepreneurial traits and the entrepreneurial spirit, how do we make that available to rural children? That was the challenge. And they have really taken up this challenge and they have come out with this innovative solution. And now they are coming out with this kit, which should be out in the next um, maybe couple of months or so. <laughs> and um, so they really want to make it an impact on a million children. That that That's something really, as Megana said, it's a BHAG, big, hairy, audacious goal. Okay, so if you read this book called Built to Last, the term called BHAG is uh, first mentioned there. Okay, it's, it's, the book is all about uh, some of the biggest companies in the world who have a big vision and things like that and how they have succeeded and how they have continued to succeed. Uh, so one of the most important things that students have discovered in this journey is how to think big, how to think like a visionary, how to have a vision. It's, it's not about just acquiring some skills as part of some boot camp or some workshop and things like that. It's how to put your skills to practical use and not only just put them to practical use, but also how to make an impact, make an impact on the society, a positive impact on the society. And that is what these students are learning in the process of uh, running these kind of, uh, uh, working on these kind of projects, conducting these webinars, uh, and I'm really happy uh, to see their progress. So I wish uh, Megana and all the Tinka Champs uh, a good luck and all the very best with their social entrepreneurial venture. So uh, the next big thing that they want to do is go to a TED platform and deliver a TED talk uh, in front of a lot of audience. So, but before that, they're going to finish this project, make an impact. They have already identified a few schools in Andhra Pradesh where they're going to um, do the pilot of this um, entrepreneurship kit or entrepreneurship in a box. They're going to actually teach rural kids on how to use it and how to develop that entrepreneurial skills and maybe start their own little entrepreneurial ventures. So what they have learned, they're passing it on to many, many more children. That's the, the core essence of the Tinka Champ initiative itself. Uh, so wonderful, Meghna. So very happy to see uh, your work today. Uh, the uh, the kind of clarity that you have brought in to the webinar, um, the various steps that are involved in setting up a social on entrepreneurial venture, and the, the also the great part was how you connected social entrepreneurship with the ATL marathon team, and how students can not only come up with an idea or an innovation for ATL marathon, but they can pursue that further as a social entrepreneurial venture. So my suggestion to all the students who are in attendance today, if you are participating in the ATL Marathon, please take this and convert it into a social venture if possible. Okay, of course, an entrepreneurial venture or a social entrepreneurial venture, whatever makes sense. So please go and do that. And feel free to reach out to our Tinka Cham, Maker and others if you need any help, any suggestions, any guidance. And some of you, I see that you wanted to join this project as well, the Entrepreneurship Kit Project. Uh, please feel free to reach out to Megana. Uh, she has already shared her email ID. Um, so feel right to her. And we can always, as the Tinkercham group, we always need 
people who are willing to come forward and contribute we are always looking for new people who have that leadership skills uh, who have that self drive motivation uh, they want to do something more than um, uh, what they are uh, doing currently so all of them are welcome to the stinker champ club i am also a member of the stinker champ club the, the club is driven entirely by students and i am just part of their group and i am also learning in the process from them so thank you very much megana and uh, back to you sir actually i feel that uh, you are the backbone of this project in fact you have been a constant support and guidance throughout the process from ideation to to uh, coming with the pilot programs and we had no idea how to go through an actual venture so we really needed the support and help that you provided us yeah i'm i'm just providing my support from the back end but all the work is being done by you folks so that is more important whatever little help i can give you from behind the scenes i can always do that um but all the initiative is yours the drive is yours the ideas are yours so <laughs> go ahead and do it and uh, feel free to ask me anytime anything you need help with sure sir thank you again for all that you've done for us and for showing support and guidance to every single step of our venture well if anyone else has any feedback about the session please do provide may i uh, go ahead sir Uh, hello, everybody. This is Pushkaraj here. Uh, you can hear me loud and clear. Yes, sir. Okay. So first of all, um, you know, I could relate when I was of your age. What I used to do, you know, things have changed. Okay, uh, time has changed. Uh, social media has changed. Uh, mindset has changed. So I'm so proud, as everybody has said. Uh, turn by turn that nowadays kids are not kids you know they are uh, positively matured at a very early age and uh, you know with the support uh, our seniors are showing us uh, i've just become a mentor just this month so uh, you know i'm looking forward to doing whatever it takes let's say sometimes you don't have answers for questions right but that that should not stop you from looking for answers if i don't have answer i'll make somebody somebody must be having answers so you just have to think you know you just have to uh, put that seed here and say let's do this because at the end of the day if you are helping millions of children uh, millions of uh, you know young budding ideas or you want to revolutionize the path of learning i think there's no stoppage at the end of the day what matters is uh you know the formation is very simple you just think and there are see take this group for example there are so many mentors there are so many leaders there are so many potential uh you know students who are going to shine one fine day very soon so on that note i would like to um, you know thank uh, everybody especially uh, megna as well and the leaders who are supporting this noble cause and uh, you are most welcome i'll put in my email address you you guys are most welcome to contact uh, any one of us uh, basically i am into soft skills training i am into corporate world i i do my own podcast show i i'm a very uh, uh, how do i say you, you you never know what i'll be doing next so you know just wanted to say that and share with the group so yeah all the best and we'll we'll keep in touch thank you sir for uh, your wisdom and guidance um kanindra sir yes megna would you like to share a few words yeah definitely megna that was a, a spell bounding uh, talk that you have done today uh, even though i am in the journey of uh, uh, tinker penure and uh, what not in uh, entrepreneur in a box uh, but even then uh, there is lot to learn and today i have got to know many terminologies and uh, uh, really it's a very good uh, input for the research what we are doing uh, that was uh, amazing presentation by you thank you thank you sir 
Um, I'll be ending the session if uh, no one has anything else to say, questions or feedback, anything. Okay, we have a question uh, from Varshini. I did not understand what is meant by NGO. Okay, uh, so Varshini, an NGO is literally just that, a non-governmental organization. Uh, it doesn't work with the government. So in an NGO, you will not find government participation. Like literally, that's it. And a few examples are like Amnesty International, Red Cross, Save the Children, World Wildlife Fund. These are all NGOs. So anything that works independently from the government, when private individuals come together, that's an NGO. Yeah, if I may add, uh, an NGO is something, most of, many of the NGOs work in the areas of social, uh, they work for social causes. Of course, they can also work in other areas. But in the context of this uh, webinar, I would say that many of the NGOs work in uh, for social causes, maybe child literacy, um, it could be about poverty and things like that. Um, but again, there also they look for making an impact rather than uh, they, they may not necessarily uh, do it for profit. Uh, they may not necessarily, I mean, they may not even make any profit, but they may just take some donations from people. Many of you, I'm sure you would have uh, given donations to some organization. Many of them may be NGOs, right? And uh, those NGOs take uh, crowdsource donations from people, and then they work towards some social cause, uh, and they benefit people. Thank you, sir. Um, are there any other doubts? Megana, maybe if you can share your email ID again, because there are some people even on YouTube who want your slide deck. If you, so I've suggested that they write to you uh, to your email ID if they want any, uh, uh, if they need the slide deck or if they, they want to share anything with you. Um, sure, so send it in both the chats. Oh, I don't think the people on YouTube will be able to see your email ID, so if you can just speak it so out. It's YouTube live chat. Okay. Yeah, you can you can put it over there. So it's nenu megana at gmail dot com. N e n u m e g h a. Yes, sir. I can't access YouTube right chat. I'll just uh, present my screen. It has my email and my website. I'll I'll put it up. Oh, okay, sir. Okay, thank you, Meghna. You have made every one of our Sunday uh, a learning day. Uh, with this, I'm going to end the session. Uh, thank you all the participants for uh, sparing your time and uh, showing interest to learn something new. And thanks for uh, one and all who gave their feedbacks.